Hello and welcome to this low-level JavaScript mini-series all about the bits and bytes of binary. In the last episode, we added support for addition in our binary number class. However, if we try to add a 3-bit number to a 4-bit number, that would cause an error. And there are plenty of situations where you might have a number with a smaller number of bits and want to add it to a number with a larger number of bits. So how can we fix this? The answer is extension. There are two main kinds of extension, zero extension and sign extension. In this episode, we're gonna be looking at zero extension. It's actually a very simple concept, but it's also a very important one. If we have a three bit number, 101, and we wanna turn it into a four bit number, but retain its value, all we'd actually have to do is add an extra zero in front. The value hasn't changed, but the extra bit is now part of our number. So let's add two methods for zero extending to our binary class. One where we specify the new number of bits, and one where we provide another binary and we extend to match its number of bits. So we'll start with extending for a provided number of bits. This method will be called zero extend and it will take a number n bits. We'll check to make sure that n bits is a larger number of bits than we actually have now, or we'll throw an error. Then we can work out how many extra zeros we're gonna need. We can create an array of that many zeros and return a new binary where the bit array is first all the extra zeros that we have and then all the bits which are currently part of this binary number. All right, now we can write zero extend to match, which will take another binary as an argument. First, we'll assert that the number is indeed a binary, and then we only have to return a call to this dot zero extend with other dot bits dot length. Let's try this out. So A will be binary dot from unsigned 11, and B will be binary dot from unsigned five. And then if we get the result as A dot add B, an error is gonna be thrown telling us that A is four bits wide while B is only three. Let's add a call to zero extend to match with A as its argument. Now we can see that the result is indeed a five bit number with the expected value of 16. So to recap, we can't perform operations on binary numbers with a different number of bits but we can use zero extension to add the extra bits needed while keeping the value the same. 